Alright guys, welcome to your 40th PHP tutorial, and this tutorial is going to be on something called constructors. Now, what a constructor is, it's a special function that gets called automatically whenever you first create an object. Sounds confusing? Well, trust me, it isn't. So let's go ahead and create a class. I'm going to name mine Bucky, and let's go ahead and create our special constructor right now. Anytime you create a constructor, it's the exact same as creating another normal function inside your class. It just has a special name. So public, definitely spelled that wrong, function. And instead of just naming anything you want, you have to name it this, underscore, underscore, C-O-N-S-T-R-U-C-T. And I definitely spelled that wrong, S-T-R-U-C-T. I should definitely take a spelling class. All right, now let's go ahead and put your empty parameters and your body. So like I said, you don't need to call this function explicitly when you're coding in PHP. As soon as you create any object from this class, this constructor is going to get called. So in that way, it's a little bit different than another function. So let's go ahead and put some coding in here. Let's just echo out. Um, you never called me. Come on. There we go. I knew how to get it eventually. So, well, I guess that's really all we can do with that constructor for now. I mean, we could have add some more code, but I really am way too lazy to do that. So, anyways, like I said, this special function, which we call a constructor, automatically gets called whenever we create an object so let's go ahead and make some object right now and set it equal to new Bucky and looks pretty good and check this out you know how we would have to if we wanted to use any function in this class go ahead and use some object and yada yada call the function like that well in this case we don't need to do any of that as soon as we create this object is gonna say alright what class did you create this object from? You created it from Bucky. So I'm going to go up to the Bucky class and I'm going to look if there's a special function named underscore underscore construct in here. If there is, then I'm going to run automatically right now whatever you told me to in that constructor. If there's not any function at all in here called construct, then I'm just going to, you know, do nothing at all. So let's go ahead and save this and see what we got. Let me go ahead and refresh. A little bit of this, a little bit of column A, column B, and check this out. You never called me. So now you can see, instead of having to explicitly call this little bit of code in construct, it gets pretty much called automatically. So that is what a constructor is. And by the way, let me just add this little note. In this example I'm showing you right here, it's pretty much useless because, I mean, why couldn't we just create another function? And if you're going to say that, then why couldn't we just write echo right in the body instead of just having to go through a class at all? Well, actually, whenever you're working with classes, the constructor is useful for maybe you want to initialize some variables or maybe you want to call some other methods automatically. Well, in this case, I know that it's not really useful, but whenever we are actually programming real programs, and I'm not just showing you guys an example, you'll see how it's useful. And uh, anyways enough of that let me go ahead and show you guys one little thing that you may be wondering you may be wondering alright why do you have parameters after the class name the parameters after the class name whenever you create a new object are for the constructor a constructor as you can see like I said is just like a normal function except that it gets called automatically whenever you create an object so knowing that you know that you can pass parameters to your constructor just like you can any other normal function. So let's go ahead and pass our constructor a parameter right now. We'll pass it x and say you never called me x. And then whenever we create our object and we'll pass in something like Sarah or hmm, I kinda like that Sarah with no H. Anyways we'll go ahead and pass in the name Sarah to our constructor and that's what these parameters are for right here your constructor so then it's gonna say alright you never called me Sarah so oops almost forgot to save that and let's go ahead a little bit of this a little bit of this a little bit of behind the scenes and check this out you never called me Sarah or is it you never called me love Sarah I don't know depending if you want to make this program to send me or we're gonna send this to Sarah you know 
it's uh, up to you. Just follow your heart. So anyways, that is why you see those parameters after the class name. Those are for your constructor if your constructor takes a parameter. So now, I know you guys, that was probably bothering you, uh, what those parameters mean. So you're saying, all right, Bucky. So I know everything there is to know about a constructor. Well, yes, you do. So now I can teach you guys about a deconstructor. Now check this out. Way back when in PHP 4, programmers said, all right, now that you have a constructor, that's all nice and all, but we want to add something else. We want to add something called a deconstructor. And this gets called when the PHP script is complete and you no longer need your object and your object gets destroyed. Well, right before it gets destroyed, your PHP code is going to look for something called a deconstructor in your class and if you have one this is the code that gets ran right before your script completes and right before your object gets deleted now let me tell you guys this in this code is where you mostly do any of your cleanup like in other programming languages you might clean up the memory or you might delete some files well it's not as common in PHP as in other programming languages, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyways because, you know, I just can't skip over information. So let's go ahead and name public function underscore underscore D-E-S-T-R-U-C-T, destruct. So it's not going to take any parameters. And all it's going to do is echo, uh, you know, destruction or something like that. So anyways down here in our object we don't need to do er anything different because this object is going to get created and then right after it gets created it's going to say alright your script is complete you no longer need this object so I'm automatically going to destroy this object but before I destroy it I'm going to go in your class to see where the object was created from and see if there's a special function called destruct and if there is I'm going to call it right now so let's go ahead and save this and a little bit of this yes and check this out you never called me Sarah and then your script is completed so it's gonna look for that special function called destruct and it's gonna run whatever code is in there and like I said your deconstructor is really useful in other programming languages where you need to clean up memory or delete files it's not as useful in PHP but you need to have it there and I mean I really never even built a program where I used a deconstructor. I just, any code I needed to run, I just ran it before, you know, I completed everything. But anyways, I need to show you guys this um, because it's a part of PHP that you need to understand. And if you ever come across it, you won't be like, whoa, what the heck is this? So anyways, my point, a deconstructor is not as popular as constructors, but it does exist. So now you guys know it. Um, if you never use it again, sorry for wasting your time. You can send me some hate mail if you'd like. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. What a constructor is, how you can pass it a parameter, and what this um, useless deconstructor is. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I know in this example, just like most of my examples, I'm just covering the basics. This isn't really a useful program <laughs> we built, unless you really hated a girl named Sarah. But anyways, in the upcoming programming uh, programs I guess programming programs is a nice little name you can see why this would be useful but anyways for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll smell you guys later